Okay, we are making some cool fall leaf designs here. You wanna, you can see I have a real simple fall leaf here. I put a few of those on here, three. Some people say you, you should always use odd numbers, I don't know. Um, in your sketchbook, there are some pages with different flower, I mean leaves. Um, this is a nice one, maybe I'll do some of those. So you can see it looks like they started with that. So I'm gonna put one of those in here. Um, and I'm trying not to draw too dark. I'm drawing dark enough for you to see on the video, but I don't want to get too, too dark um, in case I want to erase. So there's a nice, simple leaf like I saw in there. And I would draw a few of those around so that I have enough to have my whole paper filled with some background, of course. You don't have to overlap them. Actually, I wouldn't probably overlap them at all, but I would have some of them going right off the page. Um, that's step one. So you're going to spend some time drawing big, simple leaves. Step two, we're going to use glue that has black paint in it. The black paint that is in this glue is a permanent paint. Um, it will stain your clothes. So get an apron and work very carefully. Um, so we want to make sure that our glue is um, being only used on the paper because it is permanent. And you just want to like keep it a little bit above. Well, I'm not sure. I think you could probably touch the paper with it but you you want to just get like a medium line but this is why it's really important that you don't make complicated shapes because a glue line is certainly going to be thicker no matter how thin this one kind of wants to be and it does seem kind of thin but it's glue is a thicker there we go must have been clogged a little bit a thicker medium than pencil. It's automatically going to be um, thicker. Now I want to show you kind of a trick. See right there I have kind of this mess. So when I'm going to do this center line, when I get to the top, I'm going to stop squeezing and then I'm going to kind of pull back. Um, oh, so I don't end up like that. Because if I just pull off then I end up with these like random lines. Oh well, it's okay. So I'm going to go follow that line, bring it back. All that line, I'm not squeezing, but I'm bringing the extra glue back. It's getting a little tricky. Uh, and then I'm going to let that dry. So you can see it's a little messy, that one. That's okay. And then uh, maybe I'll put some inside lines in this one too. But I want to leave some spaces here so that I can color with my chalk pastels as well because this is actually another color project so we have lots of room to add color and blend colors with the chalk once this glue dries. You're not going to color today because this glue is going to take a whole night to dry like a, a good four, 24 hours to dry depending on how humid it is. So you're just going to leave that, let that dry and then we once it's dry we'll talk about how to color it. 